In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a kill switch where you can cap your costs in your Google Cloud Platform instance so you don't end up with some runaway bill that you can't afford. Let's get started. Okay, so before we actually set this up, I just want to give you a quick overview of how this is going to work. So Google offers alerting and notifications if your account meets a particular threshold in terms of monthly costs. We're going to use that as the basis trigger for this system. Instead of email, we are going to use PubSub, which is just an asynchronous publish subscribe messaging system. That PubSub is going to hit our cloud function. Our cloud function is going to be the mechanism by which we actually disable billing for the project using the billing API. So that's going to be the, the flow here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to billing in our GCP account. We're going to come down to budgets and alerts. We're going to create a new budget. I'm going to name this kill switch demo. Make sure all projects and all services are included here so it's all encompassing. I'm going to exclude my discounts and promotions just because I have a lot of them and if I include them I'll never actually reach the quota. I'm going to do a fixed amount threshold of 20 cents and I'm going to remove the 50 and 90 percent quartiles here and just do a hundred percent. So basically when 20 cents is met for the month let's trigger our notification. We're going to connect it to the pub sub topic we're going to actually go ahead and create the topic. So kill switch 20 for 20 cents. We'll create that topic and then we'll select that. And let's go ahead and finish. So what's interesting to note is my account currently for the month is at 15 cents. This will fire when it's, it reaches 20 cents. So we can do a couple test alerts. But we can also do a real life example here and just test that the system works. The next step is let's build the cloud function, which is actually going to act as the mechanism to disable billing. So I'm going to go over to cloud functions. OK, so let's go ahead and create our function. So I'm going to call it kill switch demo. For trigger type, we're going to do cloud pub sub. And then we're going to select the topic we just created. So for me, it's that kill switch 20. And let's select retry and failure because if this fails, we really want it to run until it's successful. So I'm going to click Save. I'm going to click Next. So we have uh, Node.js selected here as the runtime, which gives us two files. One is package.json, which will have the dependencies, and then index is the actual executable. So the package.json is right here in the uh, GitHub repo. So you can just go ahead and copy this. Um, this is just pulling in the Google client libraries that we need. And then for index, we can do the same thing. So let's come over to index. We're going to copy this guy. We're going to paste it in here. And then real quick, the only thing we need to uh, substitute out is the project ID. So for me, this is my project ID. So I just pasted that in there. And then the second thing is the exportable function is called stop billing. So that is the entry point. So we're just going to type in stop billing here. And that should be it. All this is doing is um, it's going to receive the pub sub message. It's going to check if the current cost amount uh, is less than the budget amount. Um, and if so, it's going to go ahead and disable billing for us. So let's go ahead and deploy. Okay, it looks like our cloud function is up and running. So what we can do is we can actually, actually trigger a test pub sub message and just ensure that the uh, the mechanism works correctly. So let's go ahead and trigger a demo, a test message. So we're going to go over to pub sub. We're going to go into our topic here. It's going to publish a message when the budget and alerting system triggers, but we want to just test it right now. So let's go to publish message. And we're going to use the um, JSON that is supplied here as a sample because this is what the message is going to look like. So we're just going to grab this. And let's just adjust these parameters here. So the budget amount that we have in place is 20 cents. And we're going to say that the cost is $100. 
Everything else I don't think really matters. So this is what this message is gonna be telling our cloud function. Hey, the costs have hit $100, the budget was 20, and then the cloud function is gonna be able to assess that and say, okay, we're over the budget, let's disable billing. So let's go ahead and publish this. Okay, so now to check that billing has been disabled, we're gonna go over to billing. Okay, so now it says this project has no billing account. So it worked. So I'm gonna go to link billing account. I'm gonna put the billing back in place. All right, so billing should be relinked. So if I go over to cloud functions, I should, yeah, everything is accessible again. So we triggered it in that case um, manually with a test message, but let's trigger it by actually incurring costs that exceed our threshold. So we're at 15 cents in costs and our threshold is 20 cents. So I'm gonna go incur additional costs and see if the kill switch is uh, tripped. So one way to do that is um, <laughs> to provision something that's a little bit pricey. So we could provision a compute engine instance that has like a GPU, those tend to be expensive. Okay, so I'm gonna spin up a TPU because they are fairly expensive. And then hopefully we can hit our limit and hopefully it will disable billing. Okay, so we just spun up our TPU node. So we're on the clock for this and it's a, it's a little over $5 an hour. So at some point, we should quickly reach our 20 cent threshold. Okay, so if I go over to billing, it looks like our kill switch did in fact work. All right, and we can see our threshold had been met, which triggered the kill switch. All right, so let's see when this ran. Okay, so this was the, the one that we triggered manually by pushing the pub sub message. And then this was the one that actually happened legitimately. And then these were reattempts, but it already had been disabled. So it did take, it took several hours for the alert to finally trigger. So that kind of, I don't know how frequently the alerts run. You know, that's unfortunate because it's not going to give us um, that instant reactive um, capability. So just keep that in mind when you're setting this up. It's still better than nothing and you should still have this in place. It's not a guarantee that it's gonna kick off immediately. Anyways guys, that's all I have for this video.